2015. The first diagnosis bulimia was bulimia nervo nervosa. My parents they didn't realize why I was cutting and purging and even made them a little angry. My sister-in-law, she assured me that she was there for me, that the doors of her home were always open. We even had plans. I was going to move in with her as soon as my brother got home from Afghanistan. September 2013. 15 extra strength tablets of Tylenol PM seemed like a great idea. Until, of course, my parents were yelling at me at the top of their lungs as they drive me to the emergency room. That night, the big secret came out. After months, after years, my mom found out what he did to me. Within a few hours, I was sent to Tucson Medical Center and I was placed in an, in an intensive care unit and put on suicide watch. They gave me yogurt with no silverware. Tight. <laughs> My like third day there, this guy comes in and after 30 minutes of conversation, he tells me that I may or may not suffer from OCD and bipolar disorder. Then I'm put in a psychiatric hospital. And five or so days later, the diagnosis becomes major depressive disorder. During the visit, my sister-in-law tells me that I've always been more of a sister to her and not so much of an in-law. When I got home, my best friend reminded me that she loved me at least 15 times that night and everything felt, felt okay. November 2013, a teacher sees that I'm cutting again and I tell him that I've been feeling suicidal. He escorts me to the office and after the principal scolds me for having, having too many absences in English, the crisis team is called. Before I got placed back in the psychiatric hospital, I asked to see my best friend for at least an hour. And that hour, we hugged and cried and said I'll miss you more times than I could count. I even left a video on her iPod telling her to stay strong when I hadn't been able to. Back at the hospital, the new diagnosis is officially bipolar disorder. January 2014. My sister-in-law hates me and I'm not even sure why. All I know is that she doesn't want my bipolar self around her kids or her husband. My best friend stopped talking to me, and I guess that was too much for her. My mom says that my illness scared her away. Just the other day, an Air Force recruiter called me saying that my ASVAB scores were through the roof, that he's never seen something quite like that in a 16-year-old girl. Now as we're setting up an appointment, I bring up that I take antidepressants and antipsychotics for my bipolar disorder. He then tells me I'm disqualified from entering any military branch. And I really don't know when I stopped being a person and became a monster, a disease undefined by any book found in any library. But I just wish I knew I saw it happen.